Hey, what's up guys? Alex here from AttackRollClass.com coming to you with a Kohak Quickie unboxing of the Huawei Leica sort of camera P9. This is a dual camera setup thingamajig. It's kind of a flagship. Of course, the P9 Plus is the bigger variant with a 5.5 inch screen. This has a 5.2 inch full HD display. And of course, the Huawei Leica cameras, the dual lens camera, as you can see right here, it says dual camera by uh, or co-engineered by Leica uh, I believe this is priced at uh, 22,000 something this is a Coco Quickie unboxing and we're gonna do this now alright here we go this is the Huawei Leica P9 actually the box is very luxurious come on oh there we go oh check it out there's a bit of a design on the little uh, box here very hard to see it says Huawei design that is pretty cool that's a nice texture on the back here we have Huawei design on the box itself in I, I don't know what is that gold-ish brown copper oh check it out here's the phone itself oh there we go looks like there's a uh, pre-applied uh, screen protector that we're supposed to peel and here is the phone itself as you can see it is very very sexy looking there's an NTC sticker which is kind of a odd placement right there there's a CE sticker over there otherwise it looks like a very nice looking phone and it is actually 5.2 inches I believe pretty good size to the hand and it feels really nice um, Huawei does know how to make their phones um, at least uh, look super luxurious and this feels super luxurious the top comes off of the box those very nice feeling materials here alright so inside the box we have uh, the box is really luxurious I have to admit this is the most luxurious box I've seen in a while for a phone that costs uh, this much oh there it is uh, output is 5 volts 2 amps so it's relatively fast charger that's cool that's cool here we go we have uh, the USB type C charging cable like we have a uh, pair of headphones Ooh, that looks like the earpods what well, that looks like Apple earpods that's crazy and we have oh we have a case oh that's so good we have a nice sweet looking case all right that's awesome and we have a quick start guide mm -hmm. oh the box is so luxurious quick start guide and a warranty card this is one of the most luxurious boxes I've unboxed for a phone that costs about 20,000 22,000 pesos props to uh, props to Huawei for uh, for giving us such a luxurious um, you know packaging material let's hope it you know translates to a good phone now I do like the fact that you get a free case in the box as well pretty pretty awesome of Huawei now here's the phone let's uh, remove this little protective cover it looks like there is a pre-applied screen protector that I may or may not remove later on all right boys and girls here is the Huawei P9 and uh, it's surprising how uh, premium this feels and looks and if I just got rid of the stickers here it would actually look much better uh, but it is very actually kind of uh, you know I wouldn't say tiny in the hand but it feels like you know it's just much smaller than your typical uh, typical smartphone these days and that's a, a refreshing thing this is kind of a easy to use handling with the device and it looks really good I have to admit you know I would probably remove the screen protector because that's ruining my view and actually it's ruining my side swiping because uh, I definitely feel that little bump on the screen protector here that's a little bit of a, the un unusual the uh, the disadvantage to having a curved glass it's not easy to get a screen protector on there but thankfully I have a solution I have a nano fix it technology that I can apply to this guy which will 
actually let me remove that screen protector and uh, put in uh, a nano coating on it uh, which is great because uh, it's the only way to have a full coverage of your curved display anyway that's not what we're here for we're here to talk about the uh, Huawei P9 this is of course not the plus version so we have a 5.2 inch full HD display I believe it's IPS it looks really nice of course and the PPI is very very good we have a processor that is unusual here because so far I believe Huawei is the only ones that use this they're using their own Kirin processor 955 64-bit processor actually a powerful processor I'm not gonna do on a tutu score just yet this is just an unboxing but uh, I do have to say that the Kirin processors uh, are pretty powerful I believe they get up to 80,000 points on a tutu I'm not don't quote me on that because I'm still have to install it of course we have the dual Leica cameras on the back here that's both 12 megapixels the outer one is the color version and the inner one is the uh, uh, monochromatic camera and uh, let's try and launch that of course the Huawei interface does not have any uh, what do you call this any uh, app drawer I don't know if you can enable it but at least for the most for the most part it does not have it so let's enable oh my god yeah 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 permission stuff all right so let's try out the camera here boom and of course I have mad respect for Huawei and their cameras let all right, whatever. God, selfie modes are so annoying. All right, so here's the interface, of course. Like I said, this is, I believe, what they call um, a EMUI. Yes, EMUI. And it's actually one of the better uh, skins out there, in my opinion, of Android. Of course, I'm still going to do some updates to this. Um, but overall, I think it's one of the better uh, Chinese quote-unquote Chinese brand skins out there. Um, no complaints here, although I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of the app drawer. But uh, if you are not somebody who's, uh, you know, stuck with that app drawer in your, you know, user interface preference, then this is pretty cool. Now, uh, this is very, quite thin. and Well, I don't know if it's too thin, but it feels thin to me. I do like that there is no camera bump and the fingerprint scanner works quite well as well. It feels great, uh, I have to admit. Now, I believe this is priced at about 23,000 pesos, which is a great price, actually. And you're getting the, this freebie as well, the case, which is a good value. Um, the cameras on these, I, I've been quite impressed before, so I'm going to, you know, give it a recommend. But I will do some more testing during the re review phase, of course. Now, let's go through some of the, uh, the parts of the phone f as well. All right, so up in front here, as you can see, we have the speaker grill and a 8 megapixel camera, selfie shooter, and the uh, proximity and light sensitivity sensors over there. We have the 5.2 inch full HD display, which is, there you go, now in focus. We have on-screen capacitive buttons, so as you can see, back, uh, home, and recent ski. I, one thing I want to note, though, this is the first time I've noticed this, these capacitive buttons are a little close to each other. Now, usually you'd see the back button over here a little bit, a, little, a couple of millimeters over to the left, and the, the recent ski would be a little to the right, which is interesting. I don't know why they centered that a little bit. The Huawei logo is on the bottom, and of course, this front, this entire front is dominated by the 2.5D Gorilla Glass, which is a little bit ruined by the screen protector that you'll see right now as you can see from the reflection on the left side it looks like we have the sim tray right here I am not sure if it comes with the uh, an, an extra slot for micro SD here we have uh, some interesting chamfers uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack microphone the USB type-c charging port and the speaker grill over on this side, you can see there is an antenna cut. There's an antenna cut on the other side as well. We have a textured, uh, sort of recessed power button and a volume rocker that looks quite nice. On top, we have a noise cancellation microphone, and that's about it. On the back, you can see the sort of the visor, uh, similar to the Nexus 6P, but doesn't have a bump to it. We have a fingerprint scanner, similar to the Nexus 6P. Huawei logo, NTC logo, that is really ruining my vibe here. Uh, the antenna cuts right there and the dual 
LED flash and a little bit of the logo for the Leica branding. There we go. It's going to focus. It's going to take a couple of seconds. There we go. F uh, 2.2 27 millimeter equivalent, if I'm not mistaken. That's very cool. Um, yeah, so this has the dual Leica cameras. I don't know if I need to explain that. Um, it it has a monochromatic sensor that improves sort of your um, uh, what do you call this? The contrast of your photos, even in color mode. So that's actually a cool thing, you know. Um, it's it's we're gonna have to try it out, see if it actually helps out. But so far, from what we've seen, it does you know, do a lot of things to help out the contrast of even color images. And of course, the, the monochromatic images are really nice as well. All right, before we finish up the unboxing, let's make sure we got all of the specs correctly. We have the global dual SIM 32 gig version, if I'm not mistaken. This is the, what do you call this, titanium gray, probably. And we have a 5.2 inch 1080p screen. We have a Huawei Kirin 955 octa-core processor running on Android 6.0 with the MUI. We have 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. I believe there's a 4 gig RAM variant. I believe the Philippine version of the Huawei P9 Plus has a 4 gigs of RAM. This time, the P9 has 3 gigs. And we have dual SIM support, no NFC. We have GPS, GLONASS, and Baidu uh, as well. Pretty nice. We have Wi-Fi A and AC. That's good. USB Type-C. And we have two megapixel, I mean 12 megapixel times two f2.2 cameras with eight megapixel front. So we're not shooting 4K uh, video. We're shooting 1080, I believe, at 60 frames per second if you're going to shoot video. But it does play 4K if you're going to watch 4K. 3,000 milliamp hour battery, which is nice because it's pretty small phone. Alright guys, so I think that's about it for a quick Ekoha unboxing of the Huawei P9. It is actually quite impressive. The package is very, very nice. The packaging is top-notch in my opinion for this price range. And I guess this is a pretty much a flagship device from Huawei, even though it's priced quite affordably at about 23,000 pesos. We're going to have to see if the Huawei Kirin processor holds up against games and then, you know, overheating or if it does or not. Um, and uh, we're going to try out the cameras if it does hold up as well. But I believe the cameras, at least for still images, are very, very highly recommended. Um, but yeah, for 23,000 pesos, we're going to put this up against some pretty high, heavy hitters in this price range. Um, and I want to call this an upper mid-tier device. And that's actually a high price. Uh, and we're actually getting a pretty much a flagship phone here for the price of a high mid-range device uh, we got some really good packaging we got an extra freebie with the case and uh, this is pretty much you know a, a heavily respected brand and camera and phone uh, which gives you more props when you pull it out if you are somebody who's looking for props I guess um, so quite respectable this is what I wanted to say anyway that's it for our unboxing of the Huawei P9 uh, watch out for a full review uh, soon uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Alex from Bye-bye.